If you want to play PlayStation games on the go and you own a Nintendo 3DS, then this video is for you. The first thing you're going to need is FBI so you can install unsigned or uh, unofficial applications on your 3DS. If you have a 3DS with 11.2 or older firmware and you don't have FBI installed already, go ahead and check out this video right here and I'll show you how to do that. Also, uh, for PlayStation games, I mentioned you want a new 3DS. Uh, to emulate the PlayStation, you're probably going to want a new 3DS as it's got the um, more powerful processor in it. Uh, it's, I think, something like three times faster than the one in the old 3DS, uh, which the old 3DS I know struggles with Game Boy Advance games, let alone PlayStation. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump over to my computer here and walk you through the steps of getting FBI installed on your 3DS. Alright guys, so next you're going to want to do is go ahead and get the RetroArch build for 3DS. I'll put the link in the description down below, uh, but this is the nightly builds for RetroArch. Uh, you see here latest one, 03-20-2017, RetroArchCIA.7z. Uh, that's a 7-zip file, so you want to go ahead and go and download 7-zip if you don't already have it installed on your machine. I'll put that in the link in the descri description down below as well. Alright, so once you get those downloaded, um, you're going to go ahead and go and extract the RetroArch CIA folder and this is what you'll get. You'll see this huge list of emulators here. Uh, for PlayStation, the one we're interested in is PCSX Rearmed underscore LibRetro.CIA. Uh, so you're going to do that, grab your SD card out your Nintendo 3DS, throw that in the machine, and we're going to go to File Explorer and this PC. So you go here, so you want to grab the CIA you want and drop it in this folder. You see I already have it there um, in the CIA's folder. You also want to go down here and uh, once you get the emulator installed, come back to this RetroArch folder uh, under games here, PSX, and then just add whatever games you want to put in. So I'm going to go ahead and do folder, Legend of Dragoon. If you guys haven't played Legend of Dragoon, do it. It's an amazing game. You should be able to just go ahead and create a RetroArch folder and then add a games folder and then add your files here. Um, whenever you install, it should just go ahead and add in the rest of this stuff. It shouldn't overwrite what you added. Um, so go ahead and do that. And then once we got all that loaded here, we're ready to eject this SD card, go back to our 3DS and actually go ahead and install everything. All right, guys, once you get your 3DS turned back on with the SD card reinserted, go ahead and launch FBI and go to SD here and then go to... Uh, your CIA's directory and then select your emulator and then select the install. I've already installed it so I'm not going to do that. Uh, it'll take just a few minutes to process. Once it gets done, come back out to the main menu, press start to, ex to exit. Then we're going to go ahead and go over to our emulator. And we can go ahead and do load content. And go down and you can put that games directory anywhere I just put it in retro to keep it in order um, let's, see, let's try religion dragon oh uh, you know what okay so what I messed up at was I have to you have to make sure that the um, PlayStation game that you're using is a dot bin file not a dot ISO um, I think this one was it wasn't a dot ISO but it was something else not a dot bin uh, so I know this one is a dot bin so we'll go launch it just so you guys can see it working and you see I'm launching right now into Digimon World 3. So I can... Uh, do I have a game save? I don't think I have a game save. Yeah, I don't have a game save. Uh, so let's back out of there. Just so you guys can see it running. And I don't know if you can see it on screen, but the FPS shows down here on the bottom. Uh, it's bouncing between about 35 and 70 frames per second. Uh, so you see it's actually running pretty well. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. So now you're up and running with your PlayStation emulator. You can play PlayStation games to your heart's content. As long as you can get the uh, file in the .bin format. And obviously, you know, as long as you legally own the actual game before you download the .bin file. Right, guys? Alright guys, thanks for watching and if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't hit the thumbs down, let me know what you didn't like about the video in the comments down below. Or uh, hit me up on Twitter at Tito Tech Tube. And go ahead and make sure to follow me on Twitter while you're at it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this.
go ahead and check out one of my other videos. I'll throw it somewhere over there or over here. I'm not sure yet. And uh, I'll put that subscribe button somewhere either in this corner or that corner right there. Just so you guys can get uh, you know, a nice handy little button to get subscribed real quick. If I hit 100 subs before March 27, 2017, which is basically seven days from today, I think six days from when this video will actually make it on YouTube, uh, I'll go ahead and do another subscribe. Uh, I'll do 100 subs. <laughs> I'll go ahead and do another giveaway like I did at 50 subs. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm thinking it'll probably be something 3D printed. And I may do more than one winner in this giveaway. So guys, get sub to the channel if you want to be a part of that. And uh, like I said, if we hit 100 before March 27th, 2017, that's about six days from when this video will be on YouTube, then I'll go ahead and make sure we get that giveaway done for you guys. Until next time, it's Johnny O signing off.